For uh, entire Gar Hills district, the accommodation and all those uh, this toilet, bathroom, and all these things are unhygienic and all. And also the accommodation, there's like 60, 70 people in one room, one hall, and even the roof is leaked. The, there is leaked, and and it's like. Uh, we don't have proper yeah, we don't have space. We don't have space for it. We don't have proper space. Sport mega again. It's totally worse and unhygienic. But I just want to say the government uh, kindly. Uh, give us the give us proper, proper accommodation, accommodation and proper facilities, I mean, facilities for the athletes. For the athletes. So that yes. There are toilets which were no go area. They are the old toilets of this training, uh, training hall, used. which are unused, which have been, uh, you know, by the organizing committee, we had already instructed. There were signs also on the Hi. door. Hi. There were signs on the door also for do not use. However, what has happened is, uh, however, what has happened is, some of the athletes, you know, have gone and opened these doors, which were locked which were tied up and uh, taken the photos. So it is unfortunate in a way, but it is also uh, the issue arose because of incessant rains in the last two, three days. This is the same venue that uh, that all the children were staying in the 2020 Meghalaya Games. So regarding the organization of the Meghalaya Games, right from the start, when it was given to us, we knew that accommodation problem will be a problem because of the construction of the JN Stadium. We have spoken in the media before also, from the start and to all the stations that this year will conduct just because it's a 50th celebration. At first it was not meant to conduct, it was the Northeast game actually. So this time when the government asked in February to conduct, we went ahead. So we have tried to do a little best because this is the highest participant in history in Megalaya.